Hey guys, I'm Coco. Welcome back to EU4. We are playing as Buha in the African Great Lakes region. And right now we are thinking about the war against Rwanda. And there is, of course, um, some deep thinking to do. We have allies Paraguay and Kor. They would both join, especially if I offered them, if I offered them land, promise them land. Of course, I will not give them land. And uh, Rwanda has those two guys as allies. So basically, in total, they're pretty much the same, these guys here. So yeah. And uh, these dudes, they have more troops than my dudes do. My allies. So if I get another troop here, it would be the same. Oh, these guys are making a move. That probably means they'll try to start a war and call me in. Huh, if that happens, if that happens, let's think about this. If that happens, I'll probably rather take a prestige hit and decline the war goal, the war call. Have them fight each other. Are you allied with Karago as well? Yes, you are. Have them fight each other. And when they kill each other quite a bit, I swoop in and take one of these places. Although, and these guys are ramping up as well. Although, if they call me in and I decline, they will definitely lose. Um, so then it will be me against all three and I'll have no allies. Might be a bad idea. Alright. Uh, the other thing here is to get the next military attack as soon as possible. That's not going to be possible for like seven more years. We need shit ton of power. We can get some power from here. So if we lose 5 prestige, we gain 10 more influence and we can then uh, gain 50 military power from this, lose 20 loyalty, needs to be influenced 25 or greater. We'll only get 50, I guess it's going to be a 25. We would, uh, we would get more if it was higher, but still, let's lose 5 prestige and now we should be able to demand military support, it will still be okay. So there we go, we gained 50 military power. That did put us a bit ahead again. But still, our leader is crap. We need better leaders. So, um, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if my military focus will be enough. Actually. Uh, is Rwanda fabricating claims on me? Possibly. They can fabricate this. Okay, I still don't know how I can fabricate on uh, Lupala here. That is uh, weird to me. But I guess I can uh, guess I can do it. I mean, it's fine. I have a claim on this. So I don't think I can afford waiting till 57 to do this war. I don't think I can. No, probably not, because Caragua will start the war before that, and they will call me in. And they will probably not give me a plan. Excuse me for that. They will probably not give me any land, so that's, that's going to be bad for us. So, you probably all of these guys have only one cab. And uh, right now, we don't have uh, the the infantry combat ability yet. Attrition for enemies and looting speed is the same for all these Great Lakes dudes. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Right now, cavalry, it's way better on shock, and fire face is not that great yet. So, shock is the most important thing. We'll get the trade efficiency, and uh, we'll take the 50 diplo power. We need power. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I get another cab, which of course, what is this? Okay, we dispel this guy. Fair enough. Um, getting another one of these. It's gonna thank my. It's gonna thank my money. But I think it's important. I think we need to move 
as fast as possible here. So get the army maintenance up. Let's prepare. Paragua? I think your leader... No, right. Your leader just died. Yeah, they have Regency Council. No, we'll take it. Let's see what happens. I mean, I probably shouldn't. Because they would probably be my next target. If we can eliminate these guys, then I'll be bordering my allies. So I will get we'll have to get rid of probably both of them because they're allied to each other. Yeah. Most likely. So um let's get morale up. And let's get that cavalry. Then we'll do something about it. We should get this uh, core in. That should be good. Hey little boatsies. What you doing? Salt and grain. Bringing salt and grain, good stuff. And you are an elephant. Awesome. Uh, this region is um, it's quite mountainous. So if if we could uh, go up here and uh, fight in this area, okay. Now they do outnumber me quite a lot. They all have seven k. There's twenty one k all together. My allies have 11k and I have 9, so 20k on my side. Of course, we are losing. We're losing money now. We are losing money, boys and girls. This is gonna be difficult, but we can probably pull it off. If, if we had a good general. Huh. You know what, now? We'll not be able to get the next stack for quite a long time. 56, yeah, that's 5 years from now. We can't wait that long for this war to start. So, shall we give it a try? Our army tradition is amazing. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh man, 1-4. Oh, this has just won us the war. 4 on shock face, yep. Thank you very much. I'm now okay with doing this. I'm now okay with doing this. Um, you know what? This, this is really amazing. I did not expect this to happen. So let's let's see. Uh, I don't have a diplomat. Let's call you back. Okay, people are changing the capitals. That's fine. I promised them land. I will not give them land actually. And um, we say we want this. It's fine. I can call them in. And with my four shock general, I think we win this. I'll try to go up here first. Up here, fight in savanna. There's gonna be most likely a river crossing coming in here. Let's see, from Caragua to yeah, there is a river crossing. We don't have a maneuver general, but that is fine. And then we go and fight up here because this is all savanna. If you can fight in this guy's lands. That is good. And hope the Rwanda goes for my capital. If we can deal with these guys first, and then I just can tell my friends here to start sieging this. And I'll go focus on those two. I think we do that. I think that should be the plan. Is it gonna work? Fuck if I know. But we can definitely try. If we wanna lose some money, we could, let's see, get a discipline guy. Discipline is not really gonna help that much. Huh. Reinforce speed. I know. If there was morale guy, I would definitely take him. I would definitely take a morale guy right now. Oh well. Um, it's a moment of truth. I think we shall do it. Uh, do we have morale up? We don't yet. Let's wait till the end of the month. There we go. First of April. Our morale is fine. You know what? We're gonna try. We're gonna try and we'll see what happens. Let's do this. Confirm. Take a day. Okay, they are joining. And then we will tell our dudes to attach to me and we're gonna go up here. So where are you going? We're going down there. Okay, this is gonna be a fight in the hills. They are locked. 
You know what? We'll be on defensive and heals. Yes, I will do that. We'll go there. That is actually great. That's actually good. Come on, get there fast enough. Please. Awesome. We won. Was that a squish? Oh, that was a squish, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. Yes. Okay, this just went amazingly. Thank you very much. We didn't even lose any troops. So just attach to me and we're gonna deal with Buganda. We're going. Might go for my uh, allies. If that happens, that is actually great. Okay, we'll catch these dudes. Fine. And I will let Incor know that they should focus on sieging this. My god, this is important center of trade. I don't want to give this to Paraguay. Are, you, are they coming to help? Okay, we kill them as well. They're going to Paraguay. Uh, it's Caraguay, Caraguay's hills. They might actually try to attack Encore up there. They might. Uh, no. Let's see. No, they're just gonna siege it. Fair enough. I think we can siege it faster up here. And we don't need to... Let's tell you to do this. Um... Yeah, don't attach. Let's go on the province. Let's tell Paragua to try to siege it. Yep, good. We'll siege it. I'll go for these allies. If we can deal with them, that would be great. I will uh, take... Let's take a horse and send him up here. This is going to be due in 2nd of July. I'll get there on... What? End of January? Okay, it's 28th of May. That is weird. That is actually weird. Uh, stay together, since there's gonna be a dude coming there. Uh, did I just trash one of my armies? I did, didn't I? Yeah, we only have eight. Fair enough, let's take two of you, send them up there. I will go and... I will go and recruit one more guy. We can afford one more African Spearman. Pretty damn sure we can. We'll probably uh, get up here. Uh, would you guys go and... Would you be okay with... Okay, we got there first. That's fine. Would you guys be okay with sieging this? If I let you do that? And then I would go and focus uh, on this, actually. That would be better. Hmm. You know what? I might actually do that. Although. Although. I don't know. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Don't go to Nduga. Don't you dare. Okay, let's try to go there. And let's try to tell... You guys. In core. Focus on this place, please. Oh, uh, they try sieging it. I'll try to get them to me. And move them away. Let's see what they do. Okay, they're gonna... They're probably gonna go to Bunyora now. I'm pretty damn sure they're gonna go there now. If that happens, I'm gonna be very happy. It looks like it's, that's... How it's gonna happen. That's awesome. Okay, you will go to Bafu Riru first. Okay, this is going splendidly. I do like it. I mean that four shock general <laughs> that was a it was a definitely a lifesaver. That was actually amazing. I did not uh, expect that. Pro we probably rolled the best we could possibly roll at that point. They have Walls Bridge here, but I don't really care if they siege Karagodon. I mean, if they want to, go ahead. Go ahead. Have fun. Uh, we have that sieged. And we now have our claim. Uh, I think I should probably keep my dudes together. If, you know, anything happens. We're at zero. We do have a siege guy, right? We do have. 
they don't have a siege path. But they are still ahead since they started first. Well, that is solid. Musoga declared on Bunyoro. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, you're gonna do much with that. If you want to, I don't know. Go for it, my friend. Go for it. But I think um, Karagwe will try to take land. I don't want to give it to Karagwe though. They probably have a claim. Yes, they do. I'll just piece them out and uh, Busoga will probably take it. I'll have to most likely break my alliance with Karagwe after this. Most likely. So it's a, it's a quite a shame that we do have that royal marriage. But I think it should break when uh, this guy comes of age. So it's in 14 years. Ugh, that's quite a long time. That is actually quite a long time. Um, my hope is that after Rwanda siege this, they will move to my capital. And we could possibly catch them in Buyugoma. That would be great if that happened. Might actually move to Ancor. Yes, they are moving to Ancor. But we have them fully sieged though. Who's gonna get there first? 14, 12. Well, I don't really wanna fight in the, in the mountains. So I'm gonna let them do it. Let them siege it. I guess we can go back here and try to siege this. Right now. So what we're gonna do... Is this symbol smaller than it used to be? I think it is. I think it is smaller. Right now, we'll just um, wait for these sieges to finish. And then we'll piece them out separately. We're actually making money. Okay, now we're losing money. We were making money because we were looting this. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to loot it because I want it to be mine. So, if I take both of these lands, how much is that going to cost me? 172. What about aggressive expansion? That's not it. Take your money as well. It's going to be some inflation. Doesn't say anything here about what's it called? Corruption. Huh. It's interesting. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, this siege should finish soon enough. They will, of course, not transfer it to me, but I can still piece them out. Disease outbreak. Ugh, that's annoying. I do not mind uh, spending some money right now. It's quite fine. Uh, the best thing would be if we could get Rwanda to actually move somewhere that is not hills or highlands but I very much doubt that's gonna happen I doubt they would go for any of this if we siege them down I very much doubt it so um, okay this is done let's piece this guys out okay you will give me money you will not give stuff to these guys okay I can take 99 piece deal uh, I'm fine with this, I guess. Sure. It's gonna give me some inflation, but it's done. Fine. Awesome stuff. And now Busoga can uh, actually deal with these guys. They actually like me. I like to rival and improve relations with war. But they're friendly. Are you not at war? You are. Oh, you're with uh, this guy's up here. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Where are you going? And we won the siege of Karagwe. Great. I think we'll position ourselves here. And Karagwe can stay here. We're on 79 right now. They're in medium enthusiasm. Okay, that is over 100, really. Well, I can't really do the peace deal where I totally annex them. Where are you going? Shaga? Where are you going there? I don't think that's gonna end well for you. You probably have to fight the natives. Yeah, there's 4k of them. Why are you doing this? That is, that is actually weird. I don't know why he's doing that. 
Why is he losing my precious troops? You weirdo. You weirdo. You know what? If these guys win this siege before these guys do, then we can piss out these guys and that should be 100%. I don't know how these troops uh, count actually, but we'll see. Alright, uh, I'm actually gonna finish it here. So thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Should I subscribe and I see more, do your magic, and I'll see you next time. Coco out.